joining me here. Uh, this is another video that I'm going to start today and end who knows when. Um, <clears throat> so let me first say that I am really disappointed because I thought by now yard sales would be popping up all over the place and community yard sales in particular, but they're not popping. Why aren't they popping? Come on, need some pop. Um, so what I did today was I went to Goodwill because they were having a 50% off sale, all colors except red and yellow. So red is what they consider high end and they miss the mark a lot. And uh, yellow is their new stuff, like their dollar store stuff. So I didn't buy very much. Um, I'm trying very hard to be picky and to pick items that going forward, not, not so much with some of the stuff that I already have, but going forward to raise my average, not average sales price, but a average profit um, on items. The older items, I'm taking lower offers, I'm giving lower offers because I really want to get rid of some of the older stuff. Not my higher end, I'm sitting on those. But anyway, so even at half price, you know, a lot of the stuff is not that cheap. So I ended up with four items. This is the item that, okay, I allow myself a little leeway once in a while where I'll buy an item that I know isn't going to fit into the make more profit, but I have to have it. And this is one of them. Well, I don't know. I, I did look at comps and, and uh, they might be reasonable. I'm not even sure, but look at this. It's a Betsy Johnson bag with a cat face. Crossbody. It's in very good condition. I wouldn't have bought this if it wasn't half price. In fact, nothing I bought I would buy if it hadn't been half price. Um, so I don't know whether this might live with me or I'm probably going to try and sell it, but I'm definitely the backup plan. When I tell you that I would not have bought these if they weren't half price, that is no bull. Uh, yeah, I got some Noble. I never sourced these, so that was part of the reason why I wanted to get them. I've never purchased them before. I've never seen them before. Um, they're a size, they're men's eight and a half, women's size 10. And they're this interesting sort of almost plasticky fabric. They're in good condition, pretty clean. It says the fa does this one say the fabric? I thought it did. Well, anyway. So, yeah, for half price, try a new brand. And then, again, if this wasn't half price, and I tell you I wouldn't buy it for full price, it is no bowl. That's right, a second pair. So these are the ones I think that had the fabric listed on them. They're the same. The size is worn off on this one, but they're obviously from the same person in the same size. So they're they are also a men's eight and a half. Should I list them as a men's or a women's? I'm gonna, oh, here it is, super fabric. Super fabric, super fabric. Um, so I have to decide, I, I probably will list them in both. They're in, in a nice condition. Uh, they're not gonna bring a ton of money, but I, I've never had the brand and I'm hoping that I will make a decent amount. I mean, it's not like I, like, only going to buy things that I can make 50 or or $100. Just, just a general, I, I don't want to buy things that I'm going to list at 25 and take 20 or 18 on if I can avoid it. Um, and then the last item. So skinny jeans are, I've seen a couple of trend reporty type things. And skinny, je skinny jeans are coming back. Um, I don't look at the jeans that much. I don't buy jeans very much, but I've definitely avoided skinny jeans in particular. But I decided to buy these at half price because they are mother jeans, which is odd. Um, I just skim through the jeans. It's, uh, I just don't like going through racks as much as I like digging through bins. I guess, you know, you never know what's gonna come up when you do this, but otherwise it's like jeans, 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 jeans. So I just kind of was looking, and it's funny because when I got to the jeans, I thought, hey, maybe I'll find some mother jeans today. Um, uh, they're quite worn, like whatever this is, is all faded. Um, but this is not faded and it's called the Pony Boy. And it is a dark horse wash. They're very soft and broken in. I have never been a skinny jean wearer. Um, I actually thought about trying these on though, because the one thing I think 
I would wear skinny jeans is if I had a pair of like knee high boots that I wanted to tuck jeans in because then you need them to be, you know, very fitted. And these are nice and soft and won't feel all strangly. I did, I was careful. I checked to make sure that there wasn't a thigh rub. I don't know how that happens. Um, anyway, they're size 27, so I don't know if they'll fit me or not. And I don't even know if I'm gonna try them on because obviously I'd rather sell them if they're worth anything. Um, so I am also going to show you now some pictures of things I didn't buy um, and talk about the reasons. Way to stretch out a video, right? But also I think that's interesting too. Like, what did you buy? Why, what didn't you buy? So I'm gonna start with this Lululemon jacket. Um, it was $24.99 and it was red tag. So that's why I didn't buy it. At half price, would I have bought it? At half price, I would have done some research to see whether I should buy it. This would be $12.50. No tax at our, at our Goodwills. Um, so I, I would have researched it. Um, I don't know Lululemon. I don't really source it. I've only had it a few times, but uh, the three times that I, or three or four times I've had it, I have I found good pieces. Um, I probably miss a lot because I don't go through the leggings. I kind of meander slowly by the legging um, thing and if something catches my eye, but a pair of black Lululemons aren't gonna catch my eye and I also wouldn't know which ones to buy. Um, this sweater was um, Maison Scotch and it was $12.99. It also wasn't half price. If it had been half price, I would have researched it. I'm not saying I would have bought it because I typically don't do well with cardigans. Um, and it, I don't think Maison Scotch is necessarily a buy anything you find with that name, but I would have looked into it. I thought this was kind of an interesting piece. It's Coogie or Coogee. Um, it was $14.99 and it wasn't half price. It's probably not worth much, but I just thought it was interesting. And had it been half price, I might've tried to see whether I should consider buying it, uh, but it wasn't half price. And this is a pair of Doc Martens and they're kids. So I prob no, I didn't look in the kids section, but I was walking out and it did go right by the kids' shoes. So I just glanced at them, um, but I didn't look at any of the kids' racks. Uh, so these were um, $19.99 and not half price. I, I wouldn't, even if they were half price, I probably wouldn't have bought them. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have. Um, and then these sandals, I was kind of sad about these. These were in my car for some time. These are Mark Fisher, a brand that I I have I have sitting in my closet, just sitting. But I love this style so much. Um, sadly, the comp said, "Put it back, put it back." Um, if I wasn't um, afraid to break my hip years old, I think these would be so much fun to wear. But anyway, I don't know what size they were. So that was, that was Salvation Army. I mean, oh, Goodwill. Next to our Goodwill, this Goodwill, this particular Goodwill, and I thought about going to some others, but I, I didn't want to. Um, it was, there's a Plato's Closet, and I don't go into Plato's Closet, and I don't source at Plato's Closet. But they had an ad saying uh, that it was a West, that today they had a Western wear drop, and I like Western wear. So I thought I'm just going to browse for fun because I like Western wear. Um, I'm going to start with this item that I didn't purchase, and this made me sad. So this was $22, and it's a Myra bag, and this is exactly something that's on my list. Um, I have a Myra bag in my closet and I only bought it because on my list is Myra bag, but I wanted specifically Western and the one I have isn't Western, but anyway, that one was cheaper. So this one was $22. If I'm going to spend $22 plus tax on an item, I pretty much need to be able to list it at a hundred. That's where I am right now. And I, I couldn't, I think I did a quick uh, search of this one and I think I came up with like 65. So that was not worth it. Listing at 65, end up taking 50. That's 40 after fees. I paid 22 plus tax, not worth it. So if they were to have a 50% off sale and I happened to go and it was there, I would take it. Absolutely would take it. Um, and then <clears throat> I actually wandered around just a little bit. It didn't look at the clothes at all except for the ones in the Western wear drop, which weren't good. Um, but I just walked up and down looking at the shoes because they're easy. Shoes are the easiest things to look at. They're, you know, you don't have to touch anything. Um, and there was this pair of Sorrells that I really like, but they were, um, I think 20 or $22. And Sorrells just 
don't necessarily do that well for me. So I wasn't going to spend that. And if those were go half price, yes, I would buy them. I don't know what size they were, but if they were my size, that would make it even better. But I did end up picking one thing up. Surprise, surprise. So here it is. A pair of cowboy boots. These were 22. They had another pair of Laredo's that I really liked, but those were 30 and the comps were not, not good for a $30 pickup. These, as I said, they're 22. The brand is, you can't really see it. I don't know why they have to write it that way. It's Idle Wind. And I think under that it says, something like buy or something, but it says Miranda Lambert. Um, and I did find these exact boots listed for 115 on Poshmark. I didn't search for long, so I didn't necessarily see them sold, but since I'm comfortable listing these at 100 or a little more, uh, I thought I'll go ahead and pay 22 for them because they're really nice. A little bit of a high heel. I couldn't wear that heel. And for me, I don't know why I always that come around to me. I did buy these for me, but I do want some cowboy boots, but I want a snip toe and these are too busy for me. Uh, I don't know what this is supposed to look like. Python, snake, but it's not. And the beauty of that is it's much easier to take care of and they're less likely to have you know, problems later on because the scales of real snake will, you know, will separate and, and break and they need to be conditioned. And these just have that look. Um, and they're a size seven and a half, which wasn't a bad size. So that's all I got today. I am again, hoping for more yard sales next week. My favorite community yard sale is the middle of October. And thank goodness, it is when I am in town because I do have some work trips. Oh, I have one more item. I bought it for myself. As I was driving, uh, I did see a yard sale sign. So I stopped and all I bought was this. And they're for me. They were a pair of Asics. I am always in the market for um, lightly used running shoes because I walk a lot and I don't have anything. Asics is one of my favorite and I don't have anything black like this. So I'm going to give them a test tomorrow. I'm going to wear them on my walk in the morning. Um, and if they're comfy and they, they work well, these are going to be going with me on my trip because when I work, I wear like all black. I wear black, you know, like trainer pants or whatever. Um, and then I wear black t-shirts from the company's merch that always has a company name. So these will be great if they are nice and comfy and I have no problems with them. All right, that's it. Uh, I hope I'll be back very soon with yard sale finds. Come on, yard sale. these up at a yard sale. Um, <clears throat> these are Birkenstock. This is the Arizona style. I was assuming the Arizona style is their most popular style and I did Google that and yes, it is. So these are not leather. Uh, but they have a, they're vegan, faux, whatever, with a fake um, snake print in an iridescent multicolor thing. The, look at the treads. Excellent condition on the treads. The footbeds are quite clean for Birkenstock. So these can't have been worn very much because, I mean, I feel like you could wear them one day and the footbeds would have more toe prints than that. And these are a size 40 and they are unisex. Okay, I am ready to conclude this video. This is the final installment. It is Saturday and I, I was super excited because finally I see a plethora of community yard sales. I don't know if they started last weekend because I was out of town, um, but I was excited and now I come to you a little bit disappointed. Yes, I got some stuff, but it was a grind. As usual, there was poor participation within each community. I don't know if it was, it felt like it was worse than usual. And that could be because it is sadly still 100 degrees and it was very hot. Um, so I ended up driving almost 50 miles going around and around. And uh, I don't have a lot to show for it, but I've got some stuff. I'm going to share it with you and 
we'll see what you think. Um, I've actually paid up for, for some of this stuff. I was like close to running out of money. I was actually going to go a few miles away to one more community yard sale, but then I'm like, oh, I've already spent all this money. Time to go home and get some stuff done. So I bought these hokas. Uh, I have only sold hokas once, so I don't know if these were a good pickup or not. I know they're not as like so many things, as good as they used to be, but I'm sure they'll sell. Based on how not worn out the inside is, I think they're in decent condition. They do have a tear right here, which is common with hokas, and a started one there. Usually it's right here, but um, the tread appears to be pretty good. I will clean that, and I'll clean around here. I'll actually probably soap up here. I can't tell. Nah, it's not bad. We'll see what it looks like once I do the other stuff and stuff them. And these are a men's Ten and a half D. So that's the average width for men's. Oh, I was at one, one yard sale had, one community had more yard sales than, than the others, but I swear it was 100% kids stuff. I don't understand what kind of people have a yard sale and they don't have anything of their own that they were just like, I might as well get rid of this. I might as well get rid of that. Are they minimalists and they only have like five pieces of clothing? I mean, there's no way I'd do a yard sale and, and not be able to find a few things in my closet that I might as well get rid of since I'm doing it. Um, but this was the cutest little community and they even had a, uh, a mobile bar. <laughs> it was called the Wandering Spirit. And it, it was one of those wagons that's round that looks like a caravan. It's pretty cool. No, I didn't buy anything. For one thing, it was 10 a.m., though that is the perfect time for a bloody Caesar or a bloody Mary or a screwdriver. But, I mean, I'm driving around, and I'm not really that much of a drinker. But I thought it was really cute. If she hadn't been sitting there, I probably would have tried to take a picture to show you. But I didn't really think about it until I'd gotten back in the car. Okay, now you may know that I have a soft spot for the North Face. I can't resist it. I do resist it sometimes. I try to buy it only really cheap. Um, I spend a little more on this, but it's, I think, you know, more substantial than say a quarter zip or some, or a fleece. Like a fleece, I'm not going to pay more than a couple of bucks for, if I buy it at all. And that's only if I just can't resist. This is a nice purple jacket. There's a hood in there I can feel. It's a size medium, it's sort of a plum purple. And it is a high vent. I have a high vent in my closet. But I think I had to price that really high because I paid more for it. This I think I, I will be able to, I mean, I didn't pay a ton for it, so I should be able to list it at a very reasonable price. And though I'm probably more of a small, I could wear it if push came to shove. So couldn't leave that behind. I actually bought some things for myself. There was a, a one that I went to this community specifically because there is a cat, um, re not rescue, a cat charity, whatever. Uh, they particularly, they're called community cats and they, they do a lot of TNR trap neuter release. And so I, some of the proceeds of this yard sale were go was going to community cats. And he said they've been having trouble with ferals where he lives um, and they've been helping him. So he wanted to, you know, get back and he's an extreme couponer. So there was no used things. Um, there was just a little bit of clothes that I didn't even look at. Um, and I bought myself like detergent and some Ziploc bags because I wanted to make sure to buy some stuff for the cause. I didn't want to join the raffle. Anyway, this, uh, this is, I mean, these two items in terms of what I'm trying to do with raising my sales probably don't fit, but these were at least low priced. This is, Old Navy, size medium, and it is just a very classic trucker jacket, jean jacket, denim jacket. Uh, I didn't try it on, but I actually don't own a classic jean jacket, and I am gonna try to sell it, but if it fits me, uh, it, it may end up in my closet if it sits for a while or if I see that they sell for like $9, because then I will do that. Um, this is Columbia. Also a brand I don't buy very much, but I have, I always hear that the PFG professional fishing here, 
does well. And I initially bought it thinking I would keep it because these have uh, UV protection. And I actually like the idea, and I have a white one that was meant to be this, where I keep it in the car and whenever I'm out in short sleeves or something sleeveless, I put it on because I, ha I, I get too much sun. I've had skin cancer twice, but it's just so darn hot that I never actually get to wear it. I really like this. Also a nice purple color, size small, in excellent condition, as far as I can tell. Okay, and... I paid $10 for these last three items, $10 each. Not a, These two are from one sale, the other. So tell me, please, if you would have done that. This one, and I have a reason for all of them. And this one is new with tag, and it's a, it's got two things going for it. It's new with tag, it's a brand that I believe is a bolo, um, so those are the two pluses and the minuses was it was ten dollars and it's an extra small she said it's it's oversized and, and anyway it is tucker nuck tucker nuck which i have never found new with tag has the spare buttons the return tag it doesn't have a price on it i i did a quick image search and I didn't, I didn't look up like sold comps or anything, but I did see the ones that, that came up were all listed at over a hundred or 110, something like that. So I was just like, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to buy it and try it. Uh, I wasn't finding much. I've never had this brand. It's a black dress, which could be worn in more of a tunic fashion, especially if you're tall. Sleeveless. I know this might be cute with some with like a white shirt underneath too for the fall is it button all the way it is it's button all the way i would wear this I would wear it with something underneath it probably i'm trying to see if it's 100 percent cotton i believe it is machine wash good news 97 percent cotton three percent spandex so what do you think would you buy that uh do you have experience with tucker neck i haven't done much research on it because i never have seen it so there wasn't any meat and then the last two items, please tell me, would you buy these? Where did I put them? Okay, these are both Lululemon. I don't know Lululemon because I don't find it very often and I don't wear it. So this place, they had like three racks. All the clothes were $10 a piece, which is not my idea of a great garage sale, but you get what you get. Um, and they had a ton of Lululemon. It was all size 12 and all in excellent condition. Uh, but there were leggings and I, I know you have to be picky about leggings. I mean, if the things were two or three bucks, I probably would have bought a lot more, but I wasn't going to start taking pictures of every pair of leggings to figure out which are the good ones, which I just, that's just not leggings just don't interest me that way anyway. Um, and then they had short sleeve tops. I think they had a couple of tanks, but not like, uh, actually maybe they weren't, they were all short sleeve. Um, and then they had, uh, they had a dress. I did do a search on the dress and the comps were not, not high enough for me to pay $10 for. So I ended up buying two jackets because I thought, well, a jacket is going to be a more substantial item. In, in normal things, you would pay more for a jacket than you would pay for a pair of leggings. Um, so I got this one. I don't know the style of this one. If you know, tell me. Uh, I thought size 12 is good. It is white with a hood. It's got this pocket in the back, like a biker's thing, thumb holes, and it appeared to be very, very clean. It's got the Lululemon on the pull peg. It has the long thing here. That's a size 12 and I'm looking to see if it has a size dot somewhere. Would it? Would this have a size dot? I know the other one has a size. Oh, actually, I don't remember. Anyway, I don't know. What do you think? Was that good? I figure at the very worst, I will not make much money on these. I don't think at the very worst, they won't sell. So I think Lululemon can bring in 
you know, bring people into your closet. So I don't know. What is this style? If you know, you can tell me. What do you think? Was this a bad buy? It's not my size, so I can't be a backup. Plus, I mean, I could be, but it'd be very big on me. Plus it's white. It would not survive me. Then this one, I think this one is called the Define. I did look this one up and the comps on this were not that great, but I could only find one in this color. It was on eBay and they were asking $225. Uh, I don't believe that, but it did make me wonder if maybe this is, you know, a color that people like better and maybe that might make it worth something. Um, it's got the hood, this flap thing. What's under the flap thing? Is it, oh yeah, it's mesh under there. And also size 12, it has, it has that. It's nice and soft. It is a really pretty color. I know I, you know what, maybe, I can't remember if I found the size dot on this one and it had the size with the numbers around it or if that was one of the thing, on one of the other ones that I didn't, oh, it might've been on one of the other ones that I didn't uh, buy because I'm not seeing it now. But anyway, hopefully they're real. That's the other thing. I don't know, do fake ones even have the insignia on the pull tab? I don't know, but it's very nice and I took a chance and you can tell me if that was a terrible idea. So that's everything um, in two weeks my favorite community yard sale will be held. So there's no way I'm not going to find enough to at least do a video. Uh, I don't, I can't yard sale next weekend. So keep your fingers crossed that I do come back with a video soon of great yard sale stuff. That house has, that community has 7,600 houses. So even a, a teeny tiny percentage of them do yard sales. It's still a lot of houses and it's like two and a half miles from my house. The only thing is 7,600 houses and it's not like there's no logical way to go through it. It's not like street, 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 street. It's just like you find yourself back in the same place. You just can't cover them all. There is no way to plan the best route. I get a list of every house, the address. So I do try to look and see if there's a street that has multiple sales, then I will try to hit that street. Um, but I could still end up driving 50 miles because I'm going around and around and it's Friday and Saturday. I'm not taking Friday off, but only work till noon. So I will probably go out for a couple of hours. It's seven to two. I'll probably go out for an hour or so right after work before I go to the gym and just hit a few. And then Saturday I will be up bright and early and spend hopefully the whole time there. I always say I will, but then I end up like, I, I, I can't find any more new ones. I keep ending up at the old ones and I just stop. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going on too much. Thank you so much if you managed to stay this long and I will see you again soon, I hope.